Today I'm going to be talking about you focusing on your passion more because I know that's something we all neglect in our life is to focus on ourselves and focus on what we're passionate about to make us live a healthier and happier life. And today I got three great tips to help you out with that such as cutting out distractions, finding out what it is that you truly are passionate about and you using your time and energy to invest it into that passion so it can flourish and you also grow as a person. And if you haven't been doing any of these three things that I just named right now, this is the best time to start. So without further ado, let's get this show started off right. Okay, cutting out distractions. A distraction can be anything that you're giving too much time and energy to that is not really gonna benefit you at the end and it has nothing to do with the bigger picture. And this really has nothing to do with you getting your goal achieved, which is your passion. Uh, for example, one of these distractions could be your own friends. And the reason I say that is not a bad thing to have friends, but if you have enough friends that's not on the same path as you or trying to pursue certain things you're trying to pursue, they won't understand it when you tell them that you can't spend too much time with them because you need to focus on yourself because you're trying to get this done. And um, that can really bring you down because if you really look at it, maybe they don't have anything going on in their life or they don't really care that much. So you're the person they can turn to and every free minute you have, they come and they try to take all your free time, but sometimes you gotta say no and invest more of that time into yourself. Another one of these distractions could be excessive watching of television. If you're watching TV too much and it's consuming all the time in your day, then where is the time left for you to invest in yourself? You gotta understand that people on television already have their life set and they're exactly where they wanna be. And that's where I'm trying to get you guys to that point in your life where you're exactly where you wanna be. So I know it's really hard to cut out television because they have so many good movies and TV shows, but at the end of the day, if you cut that out for maybe a year or half a year and you start focusing more on yourself, you're gonna see results really fast. So another distraction is YouTube. YouTube can be beneficial too, don't get me wrong, only if you're using it to gain information and knowledge on what you wanna pursue. If it's helping out your passion and your goal, by all means, keep watching those videos. But if you're watching pointless videos just for entertainment, then that's where it becomes bad and that's when you have to change that habit and cut that out and that's one less distraction you have to worry about. So the second tip is for you to find your passion and start investing more of your time and energy into that passion. Because I know that we go to work every day and we don't even think about it and we end up working like eight hours, 15 hours and we feel like we're not getting nowhere but at the end of the day, we're making our employers rich and them more happy, and now they're able to take vacations to wherever they wanna go and do whatever they wanna do in their life and don't have to worry about using all their energy. But imagine if you can use one hour or two hours, even three hours of your day focusing on your passion and what's gonna make you successful in life, that would get you really far. And it's okay if you don't know what your passion is, I have a couple of ways you can find that out is just by asking these couple of questions like what are you actually good at and start thinking about that. You might be good at a lot of things, but if you want to narrow it down to one choice, just find out what are you good at that you enjoy doing and you feel very passionate about. And it just brings so much fulfillment into your life just by doing it and that would be your passion and I want you to start focusing on that more. It could be anything from being a photographer, from making movies or short films, or maybe you have a passion for cooking or anything that it may be, whatever you're good at, that's what you need to start focusing on. Okay guys, so the last tip I wanna give you guys is to start investing more time and energy into your passion. If you've been following the two tips I gave you previously in this video, you should have a lot of time 
if you cut out those distractions, which I described to you guys from your friends to TV, to YouTube or social media or whatever it may be, that's distracting you from reaching your goal. Once you cut those things out, you have more time to invest into your passion. And the energy comes from you transferring your mindset from seeing that you're making somebody else rich when you wake up every day and you go to work for all these extensive hours, but you neglect yourself and your passion and your dreams. So I want you to start focusing more on that passion that excites you. All right. So with all that being said, I really want you guys to start focusing more on your passion and dreams and achieving them and making them come true. Stop wasting time, putting your time and energy into somebody else's endeavor. So without further ado, this is the end of the show. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it, liked it with a like or a comment at the bottom. I will engage as much as I can with you guys. Till next time, I'm out.